right now at four and five with three games remaining, your Buffaloes needed to win two of their last three to become bowl eligible. They began the uphill battle against the Iowa State Cyclones back at Folsom Field. Once again, Josh Smith opened up the game with a big special teams play, taking the initial kickoff back 42 yards to midfield, giving starter Tyler Hansen good field position to begin the game. The running game worked early, with Hansen keeping the ball three times on the drive for healthy pickups, including this nine-yard rush off the left side on fourth and three to gain the first down. But Jamison Davis's 38-yard field goal attempt went wide left, and the Buffs turned the ball over to ISU just outside the red zone. The Cyclones made their field goal attempt and led 3-0 midway through the first quarter. Chappelle Brown continued to play strong defense in the secondary and limit the Iowa State passing attack. Smith added another long return. This time, a punt return for 25 yards to the ISU 32. A steady dose of Daryl Scott on four of the next five plays moved the ball down to the 12. But another missed field goal, the ninth in the last 10 attempts, left the Buffs with zero points to show for the effort. Senior Brad Jones would end the quarter with a one-yard tackle for loss something Ryan Walters would do just a little better on the next play. Flight to his left by a running back, takes a snap, hands off in the backfield, and great penetration off the blitz coming by Ryan Miller to bring Robinson down back at the 15-yard line, a loss of four yards. Outstanding play by Ryan Walters for Colorado. Cornerback Jimmy Smith and the defense would continue to hold the Cyclones to only a 3-0 lead in the second quarter. Hansen and the Buffs were able to repeatedly move the ball, even from the shadow of their own end zone. This 26-yard throw and catch to Patrick Williams was big on third and 10, as was this 11-yard run on first down to get CU to midfield. But Hansen was intercepted two plays later to maintain the Cyclone shutout halfway through the second quarter. Walters was almost able to answer the turnover on the next drive off the deflection of Gardner McKay as he narrowly missed a terrific pick. Iowa State kept the ball and would eventually score on a one-yard rush to give them a 10-0 advantage at halftime. Sean Moeller and Brad Jones would combine to stop the Cyclones on their first possession of the second half, giving the ball back to the offense and to freshman, Daryl Scott. Right, Scott again gets the call, has a bit of a seam off the right side. 50, 45, yard line up the sideline. 35, 30, being chased by Smith. Hit around the ankles at the 20 yard line. And they roll out of bounds inside the 20, near the 18 yard line. A big hole right side. And Daryl Scott, five star, down the sideline for a gain of 37 yards. And a first down for Colorado. Scott's 37 yarder down the sideline inspired the Buffs and Cody Hawkins who took over for Hansen coming out of the locker room in the third quarter. On fourth down from the four-yard line, a field goal attempt was not even an option. Hawkins out of the shotgun, takes a snap, backpedals, throws it back in the end zone, wide open, Scotty McKnight, touchdown, touchdown Colorado! And finally, finally the Buffaloes have found the end zone. The Cyclones blocked the extra point, but the Buffaloes had renewed energy that would make this a game after all. Hawkins found Williams for another big 25-yard passing play on their next possession and handed the ball off to Scott for a first down into ISU territory. He again went to wide receiver Scotty McKnight for the touchdown, this time from 22 yards out. Hawkins play action to similar sets, lobs it down the right side, wide open, catch of the five, walking in, touchdown Colorado, Scotty McKnight, holy cow is he wide open. The 13-10 Colorado lead would last all of 52 seconds as the Cyclones immediately drove downfield for a touchdown of their own to end the third quarter up by four. Walters and company buckled down to start the fourth quarter, registering two plays for loss and a perfectly defended pass play on the Iowa State possession. 
the Cyclones regrouped on their second possession of the final quarter and ran their lead up to 24-13 to begin the shootout. Hawkins and his receivers went back to work, abandoning the run on their next offensive series, instead electing to throw the ball all over the field. He hit Crawford over the middle and Patrick Williams down the near sideline for 20 yards and a first down. The Buffs were moving the ball quickly and effectively, spreading the ball around and looking to the CU tailback to become a receiver as well. Sumler took the screen play for 16 yards and brought the ball down to the 14-yard line. The left. Fakes the inside handoff, sets the thrill, throws it back in the end zone. Wide open, Patrick Williams, touchdown, touchdown Colorado. And the Buffaloes made that look easy with 7.05 to play in the fourth. And the Buffs are back within 24-19. Hawkins to Williams capped an 80-yard drive that took just over two minutes. And the two-point conversion toss to fullback Jake Barron left the Buffaloes just three points down with seven minutes remaining. The offense came back on the field after a three and out by ISU and picked up right where they left off. Hawkins dumped it off to Sumler again, this time for nine yards. He hit McKnight for 15 yards in a first down near midfield. And he hooked up with Cody Crawford for 19 yards over the middle and down to the Iowa State 35. Crawford would be the hero six plays later. Chest high snap, boots out to the right. Hawkins sets to throw, enough flush forward, throws it left side of the end zone. Cody Crawford, end zone, touchdown, touchdown Colorado. And with 1.30 to play in the fourth quarter, the Buffaloes have regained the lead 27 to 24. Uh. It's something that I'll never forget. I mean, just the rush and the feeling that you got when you ran off the side to the sideline and greet all your teammates and stuff like that. Just the whole day was just it was perfect. Crawford's touchdown reception with just over 90 seconds remaining put CU up 28-24 and completed another fabulous drive by the Buffs. 81 yards in 11 plays, spanning just over three minutes. All the defense had to do was hold keep Iowa State out of the end zone and the game was theirs and they would make it dramatic. ISU quarterback Austin Arnott picked his way through the Buffaloes a little bit at a time, getting the ball down to the one yard line with enough time on the clock to run one more play. All comes down to one play. Arnott out of the shotgun with three seconds remaining. Takes a snap, option right, pitches to Robinson. He is swarmed under at the three yard line. Clock reads zero, Colorado wins. Colorado wins, tackle made at the three, 28-24, and the Buffaloes win game number five of the season and keep their postseason hopes alive. Jimmy Smith and DJ Dyke stopped the Cyclone option for a two-yard loss and secured victory for Colorado, who earned the win with a very strong second half. It was Iowa State's eighth straight loss as they surrendered 422 yards of total offense to the Buffs. Cody Hawkins came in for the last two quarters and put up four touchdowns and 226 yards passing to lead his team to a four-point win. And more importantly, one victory closer to bowl eligibility.